my brother, the legendary king of pop, Michael Jackson, passed away on Thursday, June 25th, 2009 at 2.26 p.m. All right, uh, Michael Jackson is in the hospital. He apparently suffered a heart attack. He was picked up at his home close to half an hour ago. His mother on route to visit him there uh, after he suffered what appeared to be cardiac arrest. I believe Michael Jackson is planning a new world tour that will largely be in Europe and Asia, um, where he's still a huge hit, and where he's still a huge hit. And sells out uh, just on the mere mention or announcement of a concert. Um, but uh, again, we don't know much more than that. Um, we do know that uh, Dr. Stephen Garner joins us on the phone right now. Doctor, what do you make of this? You know, Neil, I'm concerned when you hear cardiac arrest, it's not a very good survival rate. Um, only about 15% of people survive cardiac arrest outside of the hospital. And you think of a relatively young person, what are the causes? Drugs go to the top of the list, peculiar diets some medications that he might be taking, some diet medications, or possibly even a pre-existing heart disease that we didn't know about. Why, uh, doctor, when it's a cardiac arrest, do so few survive that? And again, we don't know for sure whether that is the case. We just know that he was rushed to the hospital and under the assumption that is what happened. But why is cardiac arrest such a big deal? You know, the big deal is that the heart stops beating and you have six minutes to get it, go to, to, to get it going again before you get irreparable brain damage. And what happens is a lot of people don't know how to do CPR at home. Where, where they could have effectively gotten the heart to beat, they don't know what to do. They call the ambulance, and it typically takes 10 minutes to get an ambulance. Um, Seattle, certain areas of the country are better than others, but not, not the Los Angeles area. Okay, that's interesting. Now, he's 50 years old. Um... Uh, he's been in generally good health, although he's been in and out of hospitals with fatigue and some of these other issues, uh, 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 you know, uh, low iodine count, I think, at one time. What, what, what do you make or what do you know of his general health? We just know that he, he's been prone to these fad diets and to do peculiar things. And these medications cause electrolyte imbalance, and that's a prime cause of cardiac arrest when the various electrolytes that are very fine-tuned in the body, as soon as they get out of whack, the heart starts to become irregular and beat irregularly. Mm. So it's possible either, either from drugs, legal or not legal, combination of medications, alcohol, or any fad diets. We've seen that a lot with the protein diets that people okay. have been taking. So um, anything that irritates the heart. The other thing, again, we don't know. Even, you know, you know. sometimes see someone 50 who doesn't... Um, he didn't have a previous history of heart disease, yet had a structural right. damage, had structural underlying disease. Thank you, doctor. We're on it. You know, the last few minutes we've been following some uh, reports coming out. We're checking into this now. It could be some breaking news. These reports are that uh, Michael Jackson, you know, the former king of pop. Uh, Michael Jackson, you know, the former king of pop. pop has been taken to a Los Angeles hospital. I think we've got live pictures. Uh, heli one of our affiliates is just a helicopter shot uh, flying over uh, the hospital where Michael Jackson apparently, we're told, has been... Uh, taken a lot of uh, there's, there, these reports are starting to come together now. It's starting to look like he is in hospital, and uh, it could be a cardiac arrest situation. Uh, so CNN sources are now saying multiple sources that Michael Jackson is in a coma at UCLA Medical Center, suffered uh, from cardiac arrest. In cardiac arrest, if someone does not get help within minutes, like I mean really ideally within three to five minutes, they will and they often do, the sort of the norm, if you will, is to lose brain function. So it would not be surprising if Mr. Jackson did not get help within minutes. And we're just getting this in uh, right now, uh, and, and it's uh, very, very sad news to uh, Jim Moray and to all of our viewers, both the Los Angeles Times and CBS News are both now reporting that Michael Jackson has died. Now, CNN has not confirmed that, but the LA Times and CBS News are reporting that Michael Jackson, 50 years old, the king of pop, 
has died. Uh, a very, very sad moment. You know, I, I was thinking back to just to what Jeff Tubin said uh, 30, 40 minutes ago, that this was extremely sad news, not altogether shocking, given the way Michael Jackson looked in the last few years. Not altogether shocking, given the way Michael Jackson looked in the last few years. But obviously, uh, it's a stunning, uh, stunning development on this day where we've already suffered the loss of Farrah Fawcett. That was expected because she's been ill for some time. This, this clearly is, is really out of the blue. Even though uh, Jackson looked frail to, to many people, he was embarking and planning to embark on this worldwide comeback tour. Uh, it was always his dream to come back bigger than he was. Uh, whether that was possible or not, we'll unfortunately never know. But uh, Michael Jackson is an enormous international superstar and uh, to think that he's gone now is 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 stunning joining us now on the phone is brian oxman he is a longtime family friend and spokesman and he was just in the hospital with jermaine and the other relatives brian what can you tell us well i saw jermaine and hugged him i saw randy and hugged him everyone is rather speechless i cried with them and i am just stunned the atmosphere here is is so very sad, and we are just stunned. Uh, what kind of detail are you hearing from doctors, Brian? I have not spoken to the doctors. I have spoken to the family members. They do not know. They just don't know. They are not in the condition to even speak. It is one of the most unbelievable, surreal scenes I have ever experienced. Now, I'm sure it's enormously emotionally uh, distressing to you, Brian. Uh, Brian, I have to ask you, can you confirm to us that he is dead? No one will confirm anything to me. No one will confirm anything to me. I can only tell you that the family members are crying, and I just have not been able to confirm anything other than to hug them and tell them that I, I, I love them. What new information do you have for us? Well, we do know that he's been in Los Angeles preparing to uh, undertake this uh, major concert event that he was scheduled to perform in London uh, this coming summer. I have to stop you for a second, uh, AJ. CNN can now confirm from the, uh, from the L.A. coroner that uh, Michael Jackson is dead. So again, CNN is confirming from the L.A. coroner that Michael Jackson is dead. Let me just skip ahead to a statement that we're just now seeing from Michael Levine. Michael Levine was Michael Jackson's publicist and spokesperson during his first molestation incident. As someone who served as Michael Jackson's publicist during the first child molestation incident, I must confess I'm not surprised by today's tragic news. Michael has been on an impossibly difficult and often self-destructive journey for years. His talent was unquestionable, but so too was his discomfort with the norms of the world. A human simply cannot withstand this level of stress. You can see the UCLA Medical Center there. As we go back to the live shot, the authorities are setting up a kind of a, a barrier there for people who are showing up at the hospital. One of the people on the sidewalk out there is our own Adam Housley uh, outside the, the medical center. Yeah, we're right set up the UCLA Medical Center right now. Uh, helicopters are above, as you might imagine. It's a big chaotic out here. You've got your news crews are already coming in, actually, from other uh, foreign entities besides the local news crews that are here. Uh, there is a significant police presence outside right now. Uh, as uh, it has been confirmed to us that uh, Michael Jackson was taken here to the UCLA Medical Center, which is in Westwood, taken from a home in Holmby Hills, California, we're told, at least that's the thought at this hour, which is nearby, uh, very close to the Bell Area neighborhood, very expensive area of Los Angeles. Uh, now, there's all sorts of rumors flying around. We're not going to report on the rumors of condition. I will say that a, a person uh, with uh, a couple different lo uh, people here in Los Angeles uh, say they're going to give us some sort of statement um, 
short time here. Uh, in fact, right now we're being told Michael Jackson's mother has arrived here at the hospital. She came in a black Mercedes. Uh, no one else has been uh, brought into the hospital as far as we know. We've also been told that Michael Jackson was brought here in full cardiac arrest, that he wasn't breathing or conscious when they picked him up in the ambulance. Uh, again, the media presence here is massive. The police presence here is massive, as you might imagine, Brett, at the same time. Um, and, and there are all sorts of, of rumors and, and people starting to gather from the neighborhoods and from UCLA itself, being a college, uh, being a college town, of course, the Westwood is. Uh, it's becoming quite a scene out here, Brett. Adam, uh, as you described the scene there, you said the family members are arriving. We're hearing different reports about uh, the family talking to media. Do you know if they have as of yet? No, we have not. We heard uh, Elizabeth Taylor's spokesperson actually sent an email to me through someone else saying that Michael was fine, he was breathing fine. Michael was fine, he was breathing fine. But that's the first time we've heard anything like that. Everything else has been much more dire. He was brought here around a one, between 12.30 and 1 o'clock. He was brought here around a one, between 12.30 and 1 o'clock. The time is fluctuating a little bit, so he's been here uh, for a couple of hours now. Uh, and that it, as one a police officer told me, he was in very, very bad shape when he was picked up. You know, Hollywood was pretty uh, upset uh, this week, of course, when you have Farrah Fawcett pass away, very beloved here in Hollywood for, for a lot of the work that she's done, especially in recent years with the fight against cancer. You had Ed McMahon, of course, pass away, and, and now Michael Jackson, and a very controversial figure Jackson has become, but also one uh, still loved in a lot of parts of Hollywood. I mean, you know, he was somebody who obviously was extremely successful and had more controversial times in recent years. Uh, but this is the third, uh, potentially the third major uh, a tragedy to come through Hollywood uh, this week alone. Where were you at the time of death when you found out and subsequently how you had to tell what family members about his passing? Well, it, the, way, the sequence of events for me was that uh, I, a fan had called and said, why is there an ambulance outside of Michael's house? And I said, well, I'm not aware that there is. It was, I don't know, 11 o'clock or I don't know what that was. It was, I don't know, 11 o'clock or I don't know what that was. The day, June 25th, when you got the call, mm -hmm. where were you and what went through you? I was at the Beverly Hilton Hotel. I was having lunch. It was, I was an early lunch, but it was 11.30. It was, I was an early lunch, but it was 11.30. And I got a call from the fan. The fan said, you know, there's an ambulance in front of Michael's house. I said, no. I was at the dry cleaners in the morning, getting dropping some stuff off, and I was going to go normal day and go down to Staples early to start doing working some business stuff with the other producers and with his director Kenny Ortega. And I got a call that you have to get to the house um, from Frank DeLeo, who was serving as his manager. I said, "Okay, let me get off. I'm going to call Michael's assistant." I called Brother Michael. I said, "Is there an ambulance in front of the house?" He said, "Yeah." He said, I'm going from my apartment to the house. It, it, there seems to be a problem. I said, all right, I'm on my way to the house. I had to go to my room, get my car ticket, and I had shorts on. I wanted to put a pair of pants on. As I'm walking, I called Randy Phillips. I said, Randy, I don't know what's going on, but there's an ambulance at Michael's house. I know you live in Beverly Hills. Go there right now. I'm on my way, but I want you, you can get it there quicker than me. And I hung up. Um, and Frank DeLeo uh, called me and said, I can't get there first, you got to get there, you're closer. Um, there's something wrong, they called the paramedics and he's not breathing. So I got to there and the gates were wide open and the guards were out there and I said, well, where's the ambulance? So I got in my car and I went over to the house and by the time I got there, the ambulance was pulling out. So I found out where they were going. I just turned the car around and I headed to the hospital.
So um, I, I jumped in the car, I was with an associate of mine, and uh, zoomed up to the house. And as I was approaching the house, the ambulance was just coming out of the gates.